All right, today we're going to do a combination review. This is my partner pump protector, 12 gauge, and this is John's. Mine is completely stock except for the shell holder over here, but that's like a $5 add-on. John's got quite a bit more money wrapped up in his, but I've this is the second one I've, I have, and I've probably got a thousand rounds between the both of them, and I have never had a problem with it. Uh, functions great. It's an 870 clone, but for probably half the price, this is 180 bucks at uh, Walmart. The finish on it is not the best. Uh, it's gonna get scratched up. It's not a, a show gun. It's not for uh, it's not a safe queen. Um, but it works good for me. It functions flawlessly every time. Uh, safety right here. I'm a, a lefty. So the safety is kind of a pain in the ass for me. Um, slide release right there. It's a two and three quarter and three inch uh, 12 gauge, 18 and a half inch barrel. I had a pistol, the Blackhawk pistol grip on here, the breacher grip I think it was. But and I actually, I could actually hit pretty good with it. But I decided to put, go ahead and put this back on it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The uh, a lot of the 870 furniture stuff like that will fit on this i know the barrels won't but the furniture will i don't know about internals it just uh comes with uh, the beat up front and it's pretty damn accurate for 180 dollars shotgun and uh i'll let you see what john's got how's it going today i'm going to do a review again on the nef partner pump 870 clone. I'm also going to do a review on pretty much everything I've done to this thing. I mean, virtually mine looked the exact same as what Jordan's did, but because this is probably my primary in home defense and pretty much what shit is the fan, this is pretty much it. And this, you know, I built this on a pretty decent budget. I don't make a whole lot of money, but I didn't buy it all at once. I bought it piece by piece. But I'm going to walk you through it. I got a Pro Mag six position stock on here. The recoil. And, I mean, it, you put 30 or 40 rounds through it, and you're really going to, I mean, your shoulder's going to feel a little sore. I mean, it's just, that's just the way it is. The, the uh, Blackhawk that I had originally on here that, see, this right here, it wouldn't slide anymore. Or it, you'd have it at the very, uh, the very farthest position and just slide right on you. I don't know why. But for 100 bucks, you know, it's a pretty damn good stock. So of course, comes with a pistol grip, and it also came with the uh, quad rail also. Put two side saddles and sit, you know, it's, you can unscrew one or one or the other, keep them both off, it doesn't really matter. Also, I got a uh, rail on here, specifically meant for the partner pump. I You can buy them on Amazon, just look up NEF partner pump, uh, Picatinny rail. But I will warn you, it's going to take a while for them to get it. I wait six, I, I ordered it originally in March, and I ended up getting it till like late in May. So it was kind of a wait and it was kind of a hassle, but I did get it finally. I wish I had the numbers for you specifically uh, for that, but I can do that possibly in another video. Um, and then I purchased, just recently, I purchased a Sightmark Ultra Shop um, Red Dot. It's got a quick detach on it. That way you can just take this off and put another optic on it or just use your bead on it at the end. Um, it takes three of the AG5 uh Watch batteries uh, last up to 25 hours, which I guess in some cases it can be good and bad. Um, of course, it'll last longer if you have it on a lower brightness setting, which all you have to do is a quick, simple two seconds on the side here. Turns right on. You got four different types of reticles. You got a red, just a dot, and you got a circle with a dot, crosshairs, and then a circle with crosshairs in it. I prefer the last one, but. Uh, your power switch also acts as your brightness setting. It's got one through five. Starts out really bright and then, you know, slowly, you know, darkens down a little bit to uh, help you in the conditions in the environment, you know, whether it's light out or if it's dark, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, it's it's a pretty good sight. Uh, definitely recommend it if you're on a budget. How many rounds you got through the with that sight on there? Um, I'd say... About 50 or... About 50 or so, so far. And... Again, I mean, this thing is in place. It's not going anywhere. It's locked in place. I mean, it's very, 
very stationary. So I recommend if you're going to want a sight, this probably would be the one to go. They had one on there that had night vision. Nah, who gives a shit about night vision? This thing right here will do, will do you dandy if, if that's what you're looking for. Then, of course, I already showed you. came with the quad rail. It's got three different rails on it. See, these eventually will probably wear out over time. I'm looking to get an aluminum one for it. But got Magpul furniture right here. This is an AG1. I think the AG2, I think Jordan has one on his AK, and it's a little bit smaller. Um, I paid about 30 bucks for this. Hand stock was about 15 bucks. He, he doesn't like it, but I like it just because it's, it feels a little smoother when you're reloading and unloading and that kind of thing. 15 bucks for that on Amazon. Um, then on the, on the very top here of the gun, this is a mount for a flashlight. You can pick it up at Walmart or wherever, even on Amazon. And then I slapped a, a Geisman 160, uh, or a Geisman Tactical uh, flashlight, 160 lumens. It takes AAA batteries. Of course, you got the swivels on top. And I figured, you know what, for 180 bucks, the finish sucked. And I like kind of like the rugged, rough look to it. So I went ahead and just painted some camo. But if that's this is the kind of gun I'd recommend if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend $400 for an 870 and any F partner pump is definitely the way to go. Take it easy.